So as some of you may know, the iPhone 12 has a lot of good things going on with it this year and a lot of bad things or some bad things that might be going on with this particular year for this particular device. And I wanted to kind of hit on some of the pros and cons that you could kind of consider with this particular device in 2024. Now some of the pros I just want to hit on first of all, I do think this is overall a pretty good priced phone. This phone is not available in the brand new market anymore, but it's significantly discounted in the used market, which can be kind of a really, really big deal depending on who you are. If you're trying to go through and get like a pretty cheap phone at a pretty cheap price, this is actually a pretty decent option because it's significantly cheaper and you can get it for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars cheaper than the current iPhone 15. And that in and of itself can actually be a really big deal depending on which type of iPhone you're trying to go, you know, you're trying to go ahead and buy. Another big advantage for the iPhone 12 is the fact that it's still supported with software. This iPhone is one of the older, cheaper iPhones you can actually buy that is still supported with software, which in and of itself yet again is another really big feature for this device too and once again depending on which type of iphone which type of direction you're trying to go down this can also be another really cool feature going on for this particular device too on top of that another cool thing for the iphone 12 is the fact that this particular device it's a little bit older but the performance of this iphone with the apple a14 bionic chip inside is only technically like two or three generations behind the iphone 15 which also isn't really that bad and it's not really that bad of a look for this particular iphone either so those are most of the pros i can think of it's still a very good iPhone for the price and you know it's not super old so that's another cool feature going on for this particular device. The cons though for one there were always some battery health issues going on for these particular iPhones. It wasn't the biggest deal in the world but that was one issue I was kind of having with this particular device and it was very very annoying for me at the time when I was getting this particular iPhone. On top of that when you compare it against the iPhone 13 Pro, 14 Pro and 15 Pro one of the more annoyances of this iPhone is the 60 hertz panel. It may not be that big of a deal for a lot of people but personally for me I like having an iPhone that's a little bit more you know it's gonna be like a little bit better in that perspective and having a 120 hertz panel is definitely going to be significantly better in this particular panel too so that right there is probably going to be another big massive thing to keep in mind on top of that finally another big thing the notch this may not be the biggest deal in the world but if you look at the notch it's not going to be as good looking as the current dynamic island you're getting this big protrusion in the display and once again that in and of itself can be another annoying thing going on for this particular device too if you're trying to go through and get a device that's going to be a little bit better there you might want to get a device and a display that's going to be better than this particular notched panel again not the biggest deal in the world but that in and of itself can be another annoying thing going on for this particular iphone as well so those are just some pros and cons going on for this particular iphone in 2024 if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then